All right, we're going to be taking a look today at simple interests. Well, interest is the amount of money paid or earned for the use of money by a bank or other financial institution. Simple interest is paid only on the initial principal, the part that you actually invest or save uh, of a savings account or a loan. So, let's take a look at this example. Stephanie received $500 for graduation. She plans to save it for college. The table shows rates for various investments for one year. So in this table, we have three different types of investments. We've got a certificate of deposit, sometimes called a CD. We have a money market account, and we have a regular savings account. Uh, the CD has a interest rate of 3.75%. The money market has an interest rate of 4.9%, and the savings account, 2%. So, if Stephanie puts her money in a savings account, she will receive 2% of $500 in interest for one year. Find the interest Stephanie will receive if she puts her money in a savings account for one year. Okay, so this is kind of money that the bank is going to pay her for the ability to use her money to lend to other people. Uh, so banks use other people's money to give loans to people. They uh, make interest themselves on their loans, and the money that they make they use to also give interest for the privilege of borrowing your money. All right, so Stephanie is going to put it in a savings account which has a 2% interest rate. So let's look specifically at that type of investment being a savings account. Interest rate is 2%. How can we figure out how much she'll get from her $500 investment? All right. So, let's find out. Now, to solve this kind of problem, to find uh, the simple interest, uh, you're going to use a formula. The formula is I equals P times R times T. I equals the interest. P equals the principal, which is the amount of money invested or borrowed. The rate is the interest rate. And usually it's written, when you go to actually multiply this out, it's written as a decimal. And the time, in this case, is in years. So, I equals interest, which we don't know. That's what we got to figure out. P equals principal, which is $500. R equals rate, which is 2%. And T equals time, and in this case, it's one year. So I equals 500 times 2 hundredths times 1. So in this case, we know that anything times 1 is going to equal itself, so we can just kind of ignore that. And we're going to multiply 500 times 2 hundredths, and in which case we get the answer of 10. So I equals 10, which is $10, which gives us our answer. If Stephanie puts her money in a savings account, she will receive $10 in interest.